gosh, it just didn't seem right. It seemed like they really should have been able to relocate them. And I know that they say that the developer tried and they ran into some issues with it did not work out. Um, so they decided to exterminate them. And that's kind of where we all stepped in. And we asked that they give us until the end or till the beginning of June, they asked for a two month extension. June was when Colorado Parks and Wildlife would let us go in and, and move them. And the development company said no. They were not willing to wait and they hired the exterminator and they came in and exterminated the very large colony of prairie dogs that was there. Bold Vision Conservation uh, came in from New Mexico and negotiated with the developer to rescue some of the survivors. It was like they were the knight in shining armor. They rolled into town and said, we're going to help. We're going to, after four days of watching them be poisoned in their burrows, these people came in and said that they would try to save as many as they could. Last week was when they asked if they could, we could find a place here in Castle Rock for them because Parks and Wildlife wanted to have access to them, wanted to be able to see them, to inspect them, to see that they were healthy, they were being kept humanely. They came up in trucks and they took the prairie dogs. And they were very polite. They came in and picked them up and took them away. And it was very emotional, it was sad. They said they were property of the state of Colorado and they could do what they wanted with them. Right now we're, we're trying real hard to find those 100 that are left a home and there are still about two or 300 prairie dogs left on that property. I don't know what's gonna happen to them. That's kind of uh, in limbo right now. We'd, we'd like to see them be moved before the bulldozers come.